Welcome back. In a previous epi episode, I lost my poor slime pickaxe, so I need to make a new pickaxe and get back into Tinker's Construct a bit. So that's what we're doing today. I, I learned a few things, saw a video, a couple videos actually, and learned a few things about making higher grade tools and weapons in Tinker's Construct, particularly using the smeltery, the forge smeltery. And so, I managed to fill up on some lava for fuel. Whoops, it's not showing here, and I think it's a little bit of a bug. So, what I did last time that made it work was I just broke this one block here, and then replaced it, and then... Yeah, and then it should correctly show. I think that might be because when I first built it, I had broken some blocks and added blocks again. And I think I read somewhere that that's, you know, that's a bug. So, I believe what we need to do to make some metal tools, particularly I want to make a steel-headed pickaxe. We're going to make a blank template first and I think I'm going to use put all gold in here wow that's going really fast faster than I thought it would I'm going to melt down nine ingots and something else I learned too while that's finishing is I had an off number of ingots like an odd number or an even number and I I wasn't sure what I was doing, and I only had like two ingots left, and I tried draining them in a basin, but you need nine ingots drained in a basin for it to cool into a block. So I'm like, I have no idea what to do with this now. So eventually I'm probably going to break this and just kind of count it as a loss. But I think I know how to get around that problem. Um, we can create a stencil for an ingot, and then when we have only like, enough for one or two ingots left in the smeltery, we just use this stencil for an ingot here and pour it out and it will give us an ingot just like this. So that's melted. So we should just have, well let me double check. Now if we hover over this it says ingots 9 in molten gold. Now we should just be able to click that Wow, awesome. That's cooling. There, oops, done already. So we have a blank cast. Now let's double check this. A blank cast costs two gold ingots. So now we have a blank cast. Let's run over to the stencil table or the uh, art builder. Here we go. Put that in there, and see here we have an ingot cast. So we're going to make this. All right. So now we want to make more casts for our metal pickaxe. So we need the three parts. We need the rod, the binding, and the pickaxe head. But to do that, we we don't want to make blank casts now like we did to make the ingot. We want... Actually, let me make sure I have it here. Which I do not. We have to run over and get some stone. And I have plenty of stone over here. We, like, literally only need one, <laughs> what is it, one stone? Because I think we, 
Well, we, we might need to... Now, see, this is where I might get a little confused. Because we're going to make... The plan is to make a slime rod, and we don't need a cast. We don't need a fancy metal cast for the slime rod. And we're going to make a paper binding, and I believe, again, we don't need a fancy uh, metal cast stencil for that either. So while I'm out and about, I thought I had gathered up everything I needed, but evidently not. So we're going to run up and get some paper because that's what our binding will be made out of. And there's a chest in my tinkerer's workshop that has slime crystals, which our rod will be made out of. And then... Um, the steel pickaxe head I'm going to make out of steel. And you can see here I prepared that ahead of time. Okay. So I need paper. And what did I do with my paper? Oh, I, I set it up in here because I've been working more with Thomcraft, and that's going to be... Uh, showing some neat stuff in the upcoming episode. I uh, I actually managed to create my very first spell. So I thought that was very cool. So I'm going to be building um, a crucible, which you use a cauldron to turn into a crucible. So it's, it's like having um, a water-filled cauldron, sort of, only it's magic. And then you can start throwing stuff into it and creating magical things. Okay, so we have our paper. Yes, we have our paper. The slime crystals in here. Oops. So let's go ahead and make the paper binding. I think we only need one. And I went ahead and got... We don't need that because we're going to make a new one. Heart builder. So, we put that there, put that there. This will be slime crystal for the for the rod. So there we got our rod, and this is paper. Uh oh. I'm not quite sure what I did there. Okay. So now we need to make a stone pickaxe head. Or, hmm. I think we do this completely within Tinker's Construct. Maybe I did have enough items to begin with. And I do need that stencil because I need a stone... Pickaxe head. So. Okay. Now this is going to be our template for making a a metal cast to finally make our finished product. Let's go ahead and leave that there for now. Now let's get back to our smeltery here, and now see, we right click, and then we can pour more, whoops, right click to pour onto stone, and it should cool, and it gives us, yes, there we can right click to get that back. Now I believe we just use the table. I don't even think we need to use the steel ingots in the smeltery at all. Let's put that out, take that out. So, 
the one in... No, that did not work. So maybe we do have to keep that stencil in there and then smelt this. So this is why I prepared the ingot cast ahead of time. So let's go drain what's left of the gold out so we have empty. Because you can mix stuff in there and there's five ingots in there still. So let's pour this, pour this out. Isn't that cool? Oh, awesome. See? We got a gold ingot out. We'll just keep doing this four more times. So this is how you get little, little bits of, of leftover um, ore out of here without wasting it, which I think is excellent. Okay, that's it. Okay, now let's go ahead and put... I don't know how much it'll take, but I got eight ingots. And it's not smelting them. <laughs> Maybe they're not related to Tinker's Construct steel. Oh boy. It does say metallurgy base, so I think I made the wrong kind of steel. Which puts a hamper on this, doesn't it? But that's okay, that's okay. It's it's a great learning process for me. I really learned a lot, and now I know how to uh, get steel ingots, or uh, get different kind of ingots back out of here. Let's take a quick peek at Tinker's Construct. Let, let's see. Let's look at steel. Can we look at steel here? I know exactly what we can do. We can check our handy dandy Tinker's Construct manuals, which I put up here. Forget which one it is exactly, so we're going to get both of these out. And take a quick peek here. We want steel. Stone, iron, flint, alumite. Now I heard alumite is really good stuff. Now where is the Okay, it's not really telling us. An iron alloy, the method for obtaining this is unknown. <laughs> oh, enemy chainmail seems to be made of it. Okay, so that's our clue. So, so that's the missing piece. I believe... Let's go ahead and test out our, our theory about whether we use the, uh, whether we'll use the steel, the stencil in the smeltery, or whether we use it on the table. And to do that, I'm going to throw in, I'm going to take all this out. I forgot one in each block, so I have to drag. Can I? Yeah, I guess I can. Okay. Okay, so that's going to smelt. I'm going to put this here. Now, I'm guessing this will give us 
a gold pickaxe head, but it could be that we're supposed to use the stencil, that part builder table still with just straight ingots, steel ingots. Um, but we have to use Tinker's Construct steel ingots. That's what I'm guessing. I'm guessing we don't do this, what I'm doing now. I'm kind of I'm not quite sure why I'm doing this. Okay, we've got five ingots in there. Oh, the other thing is I wouldn't know exactly how many ingots, so surely five would be enough. But see, it's not working, so I don't think this is meant to work this way at all. So I'm going to end up taking these five gold ingots back out and then trying to obtain Tinker's Construct steel ingots. That will give me... That'll give me a, a super duper pickaxe, at least for now, that I heard, that I saw supposedly um, can mine anything. I believe it can mi literally mine anything. And it would be, it will be highly durable because of the slime rod. Uh, the paper binding, I think, I'm not quite sure other than adding the, uh, this will tell us, whoops. The paper, I know, adds, lets us add a modifier, but I'm trying to think of why else we would use the paper. Here we go. Um, I think we're using the paper because of the modifiers it gives us. Uh, I think it looks like it has a pretty, it has like an okay mining speed. But the steel... Oh no, the mining speed, we're getting a good mining speed from the steel ingot. It's a matter it's a matter of doing things like um multiplying the parts together and their durability and modifiers you get. The the pickaxe head is going to give us um this right here. It's gonna give us our reinforced level two, which is really nice. Uh that that's like an enchantment basically. Uh and it'll give us the the speed and we're, we can, add, what, the paper binding will give us the ability to add the modifiers, an extra modifier that is, and then the slime. Let me find the slime again. The slime gives us a huge durability, so we'll, we'll have a giant durability with the with the rod, and then we'll ha we'll be able to put something like a total of four modifiers on it which would be awesome. So I could put um I could put diamond on it to increase the mining level by three so we could make sure we're we're able to mine anything. And then I could so that would be one modifier. Then I could add uh there was another I believe speed is one thing I would love to add. And I could add you can add up to 50 redstone to take to in one modifier slot. So that would be our second slot. And adding 50 redstone um, would greatly increase the speed at which we can mine. And then a third modifier will be moss, which would be uh, regen, it slowly repairs itself. And then a fourth modifier was, I'm forgetting what for, the fourth modifier was I wanted to try to have. Oh, I think it is fortune. And I think that's lapis. Adds fortune. Adds fortune or looting, depends on tool type. Yeah. 
so we could add fortune and with the moss and fortune we can add up to like three levels of each without taking up extra slots so we could add moss we could add a regen of level three and then we could add like a fortune up to a fortune of level three now that would be very expensive i think it costs something like a total of 450 lapis to do that so that's something to work forward you know improving this weapon uh is something to look forward to and that will be fun uh so this will be kind of like an awesome super duper pickaxe that, that i'm going to try to make unfortunately we were stopped you know by this by the fact that we need a, a specific kind of steel which i was wrong about so that does it for this episode um look forward to some great episodes coming up some really fun stuff i'll be be trying to tame and and put a saddle on a horse to have my own mount uh, I made an awesome discovery in my mines of my Aurea, which I'll show really soon. Um, and a couple more episodes that I've already got planned and kind of halfway in the can. Uh, so that's it. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. You know, Let me know if I'm forgetting something. This is all new to me, so it's a learning process. Uh, you're learning it through me learning it. Uh, and if you already know it, you know, I'd love to hear from you. I don't balk at, at having people tell me the right, correct things uh, or what I did wrong. So I love hearing from veterans and people new to these mods alike. So I'll see everybody in the next episode.